Hi, these are the new S5X model. The artificially made HRTS by Dolby Renderer or any other renderer heavily rely on flatness, on the flat frequency response of the playback device, in this case, headphones. I went to a certified studio to capture every single speaker. By analyzing the results, I've learned that the bass in the room is very strongly present, especially when you have um, subwoofers turned on. They are like super loud um, in a certified studio. But transferring that target curve to a headphone made it really, really difficult to experience localization or spatialization of sound when the bass were when the bass is so heavy and it's masking the rest of the frequency range. That led to realization that in headphones you need to have less bass to experience spatial audio correctly. Furthermore, the high end is tuned down in a certified room and that also negatively affects localization when using headphones alone. So the target curve from the room cannot be used in a headphone. We also explored the sound stage. We made sure it's neutral and balanced so it's not too wide or too narrow and it does not introduce artificially made reflections inside the headphones to make it artificially bigger but it's just neutral and right so that the Dolby or any other renderer can do its magic with specializing sound using HRTFs. Let's head over to the lab so I can show you some technical details. To design a soundstage that will translate, we focused on both extremes, so we tested a lot of headphones with narrow soundstage and a lot of headphones with a super wide soundstage, and then we aimed for the middle. To get there, we designed multiple prototypes with different size uh, of the ear cups, uh, the, the depth, and most importantly, uh, the angle of the speaker and how forward it is positioned in a headphone. You can actually test the importance of a speaker position in a headphone just by making little sounds with your fingers. Make them right next to your ear and move your hand slightly forward and backwards and listen very closely to how you can actually localize that little movement just in a centimeter going forward and backward. That is the importance of speaker placement in a chassis. As mentioned, frequency response of the S5X or any spatial headphones is extremely important to translate the movements and positions and so on. So we captured Dolby Certified Studio. Over here we have some measurements without the subwoofer information. And what we've learned is that they have quite a strong mid boost over here, which makes sense in a theater or in a room you need to have vocals coming and cutting through, especially when you have a lot of low-end information in the mix. But that's not the case on headphones. When you're experiencing uh, spatial audio material in headphones, this boost is really not required. It actually hurts the performance. So in a headphone scenario, you need to avoid too much low end, which is then masking this uh, midsection. So if the midsection is down and the low end is not there, you have a really, really nice balance from, you know, 20 to 3 and 4K in a headphone binaural uh, monitoring scenario. But then the high end needs to be a little bit more present in order to localize sounds better. So based on this data, we came up with a target curve. That is the S5X spatial audio frequency response target. So we have very linear, kind of like a diffuse field going on in the low end. The mids are a little bit recessed and the highs are a little bit boosted. That is what you need in order to translate movements, positions of sounds in a 3D virtualized, uh, you know, binaural mix. 
Let's touch on the build quality a little bit. So these are made out of wood. This is CNC machined American walnut. The back plates are aluminum. Headband is out of stainless steel. So these are really made to last you a long time. It's just a testament to their build quality. The ear pads and the cable are excluded due to exposure to misuse and things that happen in the studio, but everything else is included. So five years, no worries. For those of you who can't afford this price tag or don't want to pay that much, basically, you can look at the B-Stock option. We do have B-Stock sale every once in a while, so make sure that you check that. If you have any questions, reach out through our help center. Until the next time, bye.